Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I don't know if we can see that. Probably is not going to focus in on it. Today is June 5th, 2013. Time is 7.18 p.m. Uh, we are mixing <clears throat> C60 fullerenes into olive oil today on a homemade uh, magnetic stir. The C60 fullerenes that I have purchased are from the SES Research Company. I bought one gram, approximately $60. Comes in a little bottle, about like that. Fullerene, carbon 60, 99.9%. .9%, one gram. <clears throat> when you start uh, dealing with this, you'll notice it pretty much looks like charcoal. As a matter of fact, if you light a candle, some of the stuff coming off a candle is uh, C60. So it looks a bit like soot, doesn't it? Uh, I have sterilized everything. I boiled it uh, for 10 minutes. So all the implements that I'm using um, have been boiled. And I am using Carapelli Extra Virgin Olive Oil, premium, 100% Italian. Go Italian. Okay, so um, that's what we're dealing with here. I have measured out 400 milligrams of C60 using this little tiny scale. Cost me eight dollars on Amazon. Uh, it worked fabulously, and I've already poured the C60 into a beaker. The reason why I'm using a beaker, you can see at the bottom of the beaker is my magnetic stirring rod. So I'm going to set that in the center here. Okay, we're going to turn it on. And it'll start spinning and I want it to be kind of centered there. And there's that little vortex starting. I can't imagine you're going to want too much air in there. You don't want to aerate the 660. I mean the uh, sorry, the olive oil. But you do want to get it kind of moving. Okay, so now we're going to pour the C60 into the olive oil. Uh, by the way, I crushed it up here. Obviously, that's why the, the bit of a mess here. And we're going to pour that in there. I understand it should turn a particular brown. Okay. Uh, we'll straighten things up here in a minute. So within a few hours, it should start to turn. Uh, right now, it's just turning like a like a kind of dark green or a brown. In a few hours, it should start to look a little bit more red, and it will progress over the next two weeks as we stir this. We want the full the full range to be completely uh, in a lipid form before we ingest it. Okay, there we go guys. Now uh, next thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to cover it with some blab wrap. Try to keep it uh, from getting exposed to dust or anything else that might be in this area. Oh, that didn't work too good, did it? Alright, there we go. And I'm just going to cover it with a, a little band. I'm not making a real big production out of this right here. Just enough to keep it. And I got to recenter that. Okay. All right, there we go. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cover the whole thing with uh, aluminum foil to keep it uh, completely out of the light. It'll be in the dark. It'll sit here for two weeks. And I will follow up with you in about two weeks so that uh, we can see the, uh, the progress and uh, the final product. And I'll show you how I'm going to filter it and uh, some of the 
uh, toys that I'll have at that time. Okay, have a good day.